Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Bedrock uh, foundational model called Amazon Titan image generative model with using APIs with Python code. As you see in this screen, currently I'm in Amazon Bedrock uh, service page and uh, currently in Oregon region. In this region, I have uh, enabled all foundation model belongs to my account. So if you go to the ORU, you see that, you know, the foundation models, there are lots of foundation models been provided by multiple providers. In that one, a homegrown foundational model called Titan. And if you dig down into the uh, Titan models, it provides multiple, you know, the foundational models, um, namely Titan embedding, you know, Titan embedding generation one, Titan text generation one light, Titan text generation express, right? So likewise, in this video, we will explore Titan Image Generator G1, which is currently in preview, but it is still accurate and ready to use as well. So what we do is we just explore more about what is Titan Image Generator G1 uh, foundational model. And then we're going to see how we can use this model through APIs with using Python code here, right? So basically, um, if you know more, if you want to know more about uh, the image generator, so there are like a huge, lots of foundational models available in the internet or which can help you to generate the, uh, you know, image based on the command prompts, right? So likewise, AWS or Amazon also have grown their own foundational model for image generator, okay? In the sense, this model is helps you to create an image out of certain prompts, in the sense, certain input. So if you want to know more about this one, say like image generator is an image generate generation model, as I said earlier. So basically it generates image from the text and allows the user to upload or edit the existing images in the sense you can not only you can create the image with using the input of text, but not only that, but you can also edit the existing images that are, that is also a capability of this particular, you know, the foundation model. Okay. So the supported format of this foundation models are text to image generation and image editing. Currently it supports only two capabilities, right? And the model attributes includes text to image and image to image, yeah? Uh, and it supports the, the, the maximum token length equal to 77 in the sense, in the prompt you can give maximum of 77 tokens. And the maximum image size is 25 MB. And uh, the language it supports is English, okay? So basically this is like a very brief information uh, about the Titan image generator. Now. Let's quickly jump to the API, which is our bread and butter of this video. Yeah. So here, as you see, right. So when you click on this Titan image generator, it will automatically give a syntax and that syntax represents how you can consume this, uh, you know, the foundational model over APIs with using any programming language. In this case, we are using Python. So Python in the sense we are, will be using, you know, the Boto3 model. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So basically, this is very, very important API request format. Let me explain through this one. So what does these mean? Okay, so basically, when you invoke an API of foundational model, you need to have a model ID. And that's the reason they are giving what is the model ID of this particular foundational model. And the content type and accept are the, you know, the default parameter that you need to pass while invoking the APIs. Here, application forward slash JSON are the, you know, the uh, content type and accept, uh, accept inputs. Similarly, body, any APIs that you invoke, uh, right? And that will have a very important parameter called body. So basically, if you are invoking HTTPS POST method, in that case, you would have a body. And that body is here. So for this font, to invoke this for particular foundation model, we have a body format called text task type. So what kind of task is it going to do? do it, does it going to do a text image or image variation? So there are two types of tasks. As I said, you can create an image and you can edit the image. So the, currently, these are the two capabilities belongs to this foundational model. Okay. And based on that, you have a task types. Okay. Uh, then we will have, uh, uh, then we have another parameter called text to image parameters. If you're dealing with text to image, uh, you know, the activity, then in that case, you need to provide this parameter. That is text to image parameter in that one. You need to give the text that is nothing but prompt in the sense, say like, what is the image you want to generate? Right. And the negative text that is something like, you know, you know, the something that you want to remove out of that generation like that. It is basically generally we will not use this. Okay. So far now you can consider this as it is. 
Similarly, there is a one more parameter called image generation config. So image generation config as the name says, so this is the parameter that we pass to the API, which will actually moderates the image creation, right? So, and basically you can think like, you know, this is like a controller, which actually variates the image generation. So now the, the number of image that you want to generate, quality of image you want to, you know, create out of it, then height, width, right? CFG scale, seed, everything. So these are all the parameters we're going to, you know, use it in this uh, API, okay? So with that being said, I will take you to the, my VS code where I have already written a Python script. This Python script is nothing but you can think like, you know, you are now, you have an application and you are using the Amazon Titan image generator, you know, foundational model. Okay. So like similarly, like how I'm consuming here in this script, you can consume it from in your application code, like, like the same as well. Okay. So here, what we do is we're going to consume this API with using Boto3 modules. So Boto3 module is nothing but, you know, this is a prerequisite here. So Boto3 is a SDK given from AWS which will help you to interact with the AWS services over the APIs, right? So I have already installed Boto3 module in my system. That's the reason you see that, you know, Boto3 is getting activated. Likewise, I'm using JSON base 64 uh, module of Python. Similarly, we use PIL um, uh, Python module. And from that, we are importing image because here we are dealing with the image images, right? So we need Python module called PIL, which is dedicated for image management as well. Similarly, from IO, we need a byte IO. All right. So with that, we will, what we do is we're going to go to the next commands. That is, uh, we actually, as I said, since we are using the Boto3, we need to create a Boto3 client here. So with using Boto3 client, we know basically we are using the bedrock. So this is nothing but just a client. We know this is not going to use. I'm going to just, uh, just check whether we, whether we are using this code somewhere else. So if I copy this to bedrock, bedrock, so we have two bedrock. Um, and then, yeah. So basically the first line, you can ignore it because this is not a uh, usable. So here, what we are doing is we are using a service name called bedrock runtime. So bedrock runtime is a uh, basically service, which will help you to invoke the foundational models. So that's the reason we need to create a client out of that service. For that case, boto3.client service name equal to bedrock hyphen runtime. So which will actually creates a bedrock runtime client from with using that we can invoke the foundational model uh, APIs and here we are invoking Titan image generator. All right. So here in this body, so this is what the body I just now I explained. We are just, what we are doing is, so the body which I explained just a while ago, it is in the form of a dictionary that is Python dictionary now, but the API will consume it as a, a JSON format. So for that case, what we do is we need to convert that dictionary into a JSON. For that case, JSON.dump is a parameter that I'm using it here. Okay. So if you see here, just copy pasting that dictionary as a parameter within this one, which will automatically create, um, uh, basically, which will automatically create um, a JSON object. And this JSON object is used as a parameter in the, while invoking the API. Now, before you jump, jump to that, you need to understand what is basically the number of image, quantity mean, height mean, right? So generally, these parameters are like a self-explanatory, right? The number of number the number of images the number of images tells you like in the number of basically how many number of copies of images that you want to generate then the quality in the sense like whether you want to have a standard quality or premium quality images like every image will have basically image is nothing but you know two dimensional um, data right so and that will have a width and that will have a height as well so basically the image width and height will be defined here then we have a CFG scale which is basically ranging from 1 to 10 yeah similarly c is equal to 42 all right so with that now let's go to the down now here this is very simple now so basically we have a client called bedrock underscore runtime in that we are invoking a model called invoke model what does that mean so basically in the sense here we are invoking uh, amazon bedrock given a foundational model and that foundational model is is likewise given in the parameter so body is nothing but the body which is nothing but our json body and then the model ID is nothing but Amazon dot Titan hyphen image hyphen generator hyphen version one, right? And then acceptance and the content type as I explained earlier, right? So this selection constitute how to invoke uh, Amazon bedrock given, you know, the Titan image generator APIs, yeah? All right, so the now once you run this, once this piece of code gets run, it will re return a response. 
and that response contains your image basically now i need to get that image out of that output right so for that case the rest of the line does that job so first one is json loads okay so again we are using the json loads because it returns a dictionary again and you need to basically convert it into form of uh, something like readable format right so in that case we are using response dot get body because the response the, the the data will be present in the body and we are reading it from the response body what we are doing is i'm just decoding it in the sense that basically the output will be the form of encoded base 634 format we need to decode it and and use that as a as an image basically right so for that case this is a syntax which is a standard syntax i'm not going to uh i know explain more about it but a quick walkthrough that is image dot open in the sense just image open this image that is basically decoded one and base image is nothing but you know the image is basically here you know what we are doing is we are using the for loop base image in in the response body get the image data yeah so this way is nothing but you know the the decoded basically you know the, this is actually a decoded uh, binary information of the image and from that for, from that what we are doing is i'm just you know keep on showing you the images all right so what we do is you know this is very simple anyways um, you know i have completely walked you through this uh, particular code and i'm going to share this piece of code in the github repository github repository is also uh, github repository's link is also shared in this video's description you can find it from there as well now what i do is let's time for the show what we do is we're gonna give some you know very unique um, um basically very unique uh, prompts are very unique uh, um, you know the information let's say amazon forest yeah i would like to see how does amazon forest looks like you know let's see how does the amazon titan image generator generates amazon forest okay so for that case um, you know so before you you know for that case i have changed the text here like that but before we invoke this file there are prerequisites as well that is you need to have a, a command called aws configure so you need to run the aws configure why because this will set a context to the your aws account with using this context you know this boto3 uh, module gets connections to the aws account from the connections you know it is able to you know invoke the apis if you have not set the aws configure you might get you know the uh, not authorized error or authentication error basically yeah so here in my case i am setting the context so by running the aws configure and providing these access key and secret key you know my context is set no i am good to run this particular script now so what i do is i'm going to run this script right away with using this run button of the python let's see you know so basically currently as you see here it is running right and in this command in the last line what we are doing is i'm just dynamically showing the image so currently it is running once the running gets completed it will pop up the image and let's see how does that image looks so right now we are creating only one image as as you see in the parameter we are actually generating only one image but i will show you that you know we can also create multiple images as well and let's see how does this code behaves in that cases all right so after this uh you know the show of this execution of this code then yeah all right so looks like it has automatically popped up a png image as you see here and this is the you know the amazon forest created by amazon titan image generator yeah so this is has created only one image let's let's ask for a little bit bit little bit you know uh, a smart text okay that is amazon forest i will say tigress i will sorry i will ask for tiger yeah um, and then you want two tigers okay let's let's put a value code to two and let me see you know how does this code behaves so i'm what i do is i have uh, changed the text in the sense now i'm asking amazon forest tiger yeah and then i want two images for that so basically it will try to you know open the image one after the other let's see how does response now uh, so basically this is how you know under the hood while it is running uh, let me tell you that under the hood this is how the you know the conception of foundation model can happen from the application side aws is helping you to give a fully you know ready to usable foundation model and accessible over the api that is a great thing right and uh, with using the apis you can integrate in your application and try to use the you know make use of this foundation model so currently these models are being trained with the you know the default data that aws has trained them along with that there is also opportunity that you can also still train these models with using your own custom data as well now let's see you know the final stage of the testing of this particular code 
so this example piece of code will be shared in my videos videos description you can find it from there basically i have shared a link you can find it from there as well all right i'm just waiting for this image to get generated and then we can wind up for the you know the demo right so basically let's wait for a couple of seconds as you saw earlier that you know it has generated the amazon forest image now we are expecting to generate the tiger as well uh, let's see if it can generate the two images here you go it has popped up twice right and uh, yeah here you go right so there are two images got popped up one you see the background is amazon forest and you have a tiger and then we have asked another image as well so you see that you know, this is a tiger and background is your amazon forest right looks like it is generating in the sense it is doing the job as expected all right so with that being said i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video